my prep to, I thought it would be a good idea if we looked at the properties of some 2D shapes. Now, when we talk about properties of shape, it means all of the things that we can look at to compare them and to describe them. So what is a 2D shape? Well, we know, don't we, that a 2D shape is a flat shape. You can only measure the length and the width of the shape. It has no thickness. So a 2D shape is something that you can draw on paper, but you can't actually lift it up. OK, so some of the properties of a 2D shape may be the length of the sides. We can look at the number of sides, which is what you're going to be doing in your lesson today. We can look at the sides and we can see are they equal? Are the sides the same length or are they different lengths? Are some of the sides longer and some of the sides, could they be shorter too? We can also look at whether the sides are curved. I wonder if you know any shapes that have a curved side. Many of the shapes that we know have straight sides, don't they? We can also look at corners, which is something that you will be doing tomorrow in your lesson. And we can look at symmetry, so whether something is the same on both sides. So you can use a mirror for that, or you can fold a, a shape, a paper shape, um, to find out symmetry. Now, if I scroll down, these are some of the common 2D shapes that you should be familiar with. You may know some, you may not know others. OK, so look at a circle, for example. Now, sometimes people say a circle doesn't have any sides because it just continues forever. But I would say it has one big curved side. OK, it's a big round shape. Now, a square that we all know is a square shape and it has four sides and four corners and all of those sides are equal. They are all the same length. OK, there are many shapes that have sides the same length and we would call those a regular shape so um, an octagon if you look at the green octagon right in the middle there that has eight straight sides and eight corners and all of those are the same now you can get octagons that have different lengths of sides but they will always be eight and they will always be straight okay so i hope you enjoy working with some 2d shapes today you've got some fun activities to do all of your work today is about sides, so it's looking at a shape and counting the number of sides. It might be that you want to use some different methods to help you remember what some of those shapes are. If we use the example of an octagon, I wonder if you can think of an animal that sounds a bit like octagon. Hmm. I know that an octopus has eight legs, just like an octagon has eight sides. So there are things that you can use to help you remember the names of these shapes. OK, I will put this as a download for you so you can have a look at this and use it to help you if you wish today. Enjoy your 2D Shapes Prep 2 and I will see you again tomorrow.